the morning before the Coal Creek Ranch neighborhood looked like this, priorities were different. We had neighbors going out wearing goggles to keep the ash out of their eyes, and they were adjusting the trash cans to make sure that the trash truck would still be able to pick them up. Like that's, that's kind of where you are when that's happening. Priorities changed so quickly for Andrew Zimmer and his family. The trash cans are all melted, so uh, trash pickup, success. His neighborhood is part of a homeowners association. Their fees pay for stuff like trash pickup and a clubhouse with a pool. That survived, but it's damaged. Andrew pays $700 a year. We have an automatic payment set up, so we paid before the fire. Um, and then we were thinking like, oh, we're going to get that money back. We don't really live in the community anymore. But then he received an email saying the HOA is still collecting dues, minus the trash fee. Um, but of course, it's a clubhouse that like we won't be using, so it didn't seem very reasonable. In an email, the HOA board president told me the bylaws require them to charge dues, and they don't see a way around that. He added they have started to raise money for impacted families, and so far, they've raised $12,000. It seems to me that if you're raising money to help out people who lost their homes, maybe you start by not taking money from them and then you raise the money separately. I just don't see a reason why in a situation this extreme and unique, you don't find a way to skirt the bylaws or change them. So many of Andrew's old priorities are different now because they have to be. But it's kind of like losing your past and your future at the same time. He hopes the people that didn't have to change theirs truly see his. We never thought we'd be facing this. Katie Eastman, Nine News. The legal counsel for the Coal Creek Ranch Master Association said despite the fire, the expenses of the community remained unchanged. The association says homeowners must pay those HOA fees until they sell that property to a new owner. Andrew, along with several dozen other homeowners in the association, have signed a petition to remove the HOA president and another board member.